Over. Today, as you can see, I'm not in London, which just warms my heart. I am back at Soho Farmhouse, which is swiftly becoming one of my favourite places. I actually got an invitation just a couple of days ago um, to come out here with Danone, who make the light and free yogurts, and I just could not turn down an opportunity to get out of the city. So here we are, um, and we're actually about to start making some lunch. We've got some ingredients laid out in front of us, and we've just got some smoothies for breakfast. We drove down from London um, earlier this morning, and I was just too much of a zombie to start vlogging that early. So it's only about half past 10 now, so we've got a full day here and yeah really excited to be getting some fresh air and just be in this beautiful beautiful place so I'm gonna get back into the kitchen and we're gonna start cooking <laughs> and healthy lunch which we made ourselves it always makes it a hundred times more satisfying um, and now we've got a little bit of free time to explore the farmhouse I think we're gonna go down to the lake do a little bit of rowing um, and this place is literally just the most beautiful place for photos so we're going to have a wander around and take some snaps Okay, 
because we've made our way to the lakes and Rosie and I are about to attempt going in the boat. How do you think this is going to end, Rosie? Hopefully not in tears. Ah! <laughs> Wish us luck. Do this. Are you taking your phone to Snapchat? basically goes against everything that Soho House stands for but hey ho we haven't been told off yet um, and now we're gonna go to the shop I've just bought some rosy apples and Rosie has bought a bag of chicken mix seeds reliving our childhood Woo <laughs> the lighting is so nice then <laughs> So I'm back home again now as you can probably tell from my surroundings and we had such a fabulous day at the Soho farmhouse just so 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 nice to escape from the city I'm really loving these days out and it's so attainable in one day like it took us maybe an hour and a half to get there and an hour and a half to get back so really not that bad actually like definitely commutable my argument for moving to the countryside just gets bigger and bigger every single day um, but yeah, so back home now, I thought I would just quickly show you what we got in our lovely goodie bags from the events. I also brought home a few flowers, not sure if you spotted these in the background of the video earlier when we were preparing some food, um, but they were just so stunning and then at the end they were like, do you want to take some flowers? And of course, being vloggers, we all said yes. Um, so you will be seeing those in some vlog photos very, very soon. And yeah, we also have a little goodie bag, so let's have a look inside. I haven't even looked in it myself. This bag smells like bonfires because I lent it up against the bonfire while we were grabbing cocktails. Um, so it just smells really autumnal and that smell reminds me of my birthday as well because once you start smelling bonfires it means it's nearly my birthday. <laughs> so yes, we have um, the Kinfolk Table book. This was in our little goodie bag um, and I was actually going to get this for Charlie for Christmas so I might hide this. Oh, is that really cheeky? I can't give him something that I've been given free, can I? No, maybe I'll just present it to him. But this is a cookbook um, and it's recipes for small gatherings apparently so I'll be having a little look in that later 
also in here we have of course some lighting free yogurt because that's who kindly took us out to Soho farmhouse today this is the cherry charmer flavor and you guys saw a clip of our dessert and that was that mixed with cream I believe um, with some nuts and a compote in it and oh my gosh that was so tasty I'm definitely gonna be recreating that for some dinner parties because people will think that I'm amazing at making dessert when actually it's just yogurt with a few extra ingredients so love that um oh we have some Soho farmhouse produce farmhouse honey in this gorgeous little kilner jar um and something else from the farmhouse ah oh, this is the compote so maybe I can make it for dinner tomorrow or even tonight I'm still hungry so that's some lovely goodies that we got to take home with us um next on my agenda this evening oh my god did you see me just jump then because I caught the because I got the camera strap out the corner of my eye and I thought it was someone coming into the house that really scared me so next on the agenda tonight is um, a bath I'm gonna run the bath and wash my hair have a bit of a chill out and then I think once I'm a little bit more chilled I'm gonna have a cup of chamomile tea as well to just totally chill me out not that today's been stressful but you know I'm just quite a stressy person so I do need chilling out I'm gonna have a bath and then I'm gonna crack on with a little bit of work I've got videos to edit blog posts to write emails to answer so chill out first and then do a little bit of work before Charlie gets home from Mallorca he should be back hopefully at around 10 o'clock tonight so time to get sprucing okay I am ready for my pamper session to begin I've put on um, a couple more of these L'Oreal clay face masks can't really move my jaw that much um, I've gone for the purifying one and the glowing one which is the brown one I haven't used the brown one quite as much so basically trying to use it up and see if it works see if it gives me a glow I've got my pucker rose chamomile and lavender tea which is just a really relaxing one and then I'm going to take a copy of L into the bath with me um, I don't really like L but it came with my look fantastic beauty box I just don't really find it that interesting um, but I'm going to see if I can find something to flick through while I'm in the bath and then let me show you what I'm going to be um, pampering myself with so I've had this in my bathroom for quite some time and I've not used it yet. It's the Aromatherapy Associates um, Clear Mind Bath and Shower Oil. So that sounds rather lovely and luxurious. And then I'm going to use a L'Oreal Color Correcting Shampoo and Deep Conditioner. That's the Vitamino Color AOX uh, range. So I'm going to use the shampoo and conditioner from that. And then I'm just about going to finish off my Fiery Pink Pepper Molten Brown Body Polisher. This is um, nearly empty, so I'm going to finish that one off as well. These are some bath crystals, which I'm going to put in as well from this brand. I'm not too sure how to say it, Nape, potentially. Um, but these are amazing. They smell of eucalyptus, and they're really good for clearing out your system. I don't really feel like I've got a cold, but this will hopefully just invigorate me a little bit more. <laughs> Got a summer love. We know that all our friends are jealous. And I'm in bed and it's only half past nine. I'm gonna do a little bit of work, I think. Maybe edit a video, um, upload that, and then I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. Charlie should be home in just over an hour, hopefully. He's just texted me, what did he say? On the train now. Oh good, home just before 10.30, so not too long to wait until Charlie gets home. Um, so yeah, gonna do a little bit of work and then just watch some YouTube videos and relax. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming into Soho Farmhouse with me today. I had such a fun day. Really nice to just be able to do all of that in just one day. It was, um, yeah, really good fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of my next ones. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,